Hey, welcome back to Three Men on Let's Play. I'm Mike. I'm Chris. And I'm Pierce. We're playing some more Dream Daddy. We just went on a golfing excursion, I think. Yeah, with we were having some fun at Putt Putt Mini Golf Pirate Edition. The Scottish Sky Clone. He's a Zangief, but he's Scottish. So, uh, let's take it away, Mr. Narrator. Let's go about this. Go. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian when I'm not jazzed about considering I just completely blew it on the Putt Putt course. Okay, Dad, you can do this. Just gotta drown my sorrows in some tropical loser drink and get out of here. He refers to himself as Dad? I guess so. Brian and I walk into the free Tiki, a kitchen the island themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. To uh, pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips us up two rum drinks Ooh. inside of hollowed out pineapples. Ooh. He sets them on Thursday. fire and we have to throw blow out the fuck. He sets them on fire and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. Usually I just like to, uh, I don't know, uh, drink my drinks. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. <laughs> it bursts me again? I think not for that, Fred, man. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. Sour taste fruity. My long can needs are very particular. I hope you're up for the challenge. Well, what's that about? Oh, I think I, we're gonna have a yard this, contest. A no, yard we, contest? Do you guys not remember last game we fucking lost the mini golf? Oh, yes, yeah, the Moe's yard. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, don't worry, Dad. I'll bring my own salt to promote healthy growth in a sustainable environment. Oh, come on now, Kyle. I was just having a wee bit of fun with you. I grumble and sip more of my fruity sour drink. Fine, fine, dear. You got me on this one. While I sip more of my drink, I notice the TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover, Deck Edition is on. I love this here show. Always make me want to own a deck. Oh, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's a uh, reality TV. Who cares, dear friend? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way to make sure they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three week job minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks? <clears throat> three weeks dead extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody will watch it. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Ooh. Like long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. <laughs> I have terrible news for you, Kyle. No, no, not them too, dear. <laughs> that's the awful truth. Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. <laughs> Trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. <laughs> I've been lied to for so long, dear. We both chuckle oh, and sip on a pineapple. Two raspy voices. Yeah, you wanted it, man. So wait, dude, you a general contractor? Shot am. I actually helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. Whoa, nice work, dear. Yeah, uh, kind of took after the footsteps of me old man. He was a general contractor, too. The bust. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying not to become your father. Then you wake up one day, then you are. But I got to work with me hands and it pays more than enough to take care of my daughter. So it's an absolute dream job for me at least. Hmm, well that's impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad and I've been okay with that until now. <gasps> now I must defeat him. I do have that patio furniture that I haven't put together still sitting in the garage. Oh, getting that fire lit. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I should cool it with the dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Um, Tell one of our classic jokes. Stare him down, I'm blinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think jokes. We've already been beating, beating on this. Yeah, we've talked about that. our daughters again. We just hung out with them. Let's do jokes. So, a uh, three-legged dog walks into a bar. <laughs> uh-huh. And he goes up to the bartender and says, I'm looking for the man who shot my leg. Uh-huh. Is that how it goes? Oh, he already he knows. He 
I'm looking for the man who shot my pa. <laughs> nope, but I refuse to admit it. Oh, fuck. Uh, he's still uh, like that. It's one of those intad jokes. It's very avant-garde, you know. Ah, good save. Also, it was supposed to not be funny. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll take a long sip of my fruity sour drink. See, we can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian if we weren't better than him, obviously. That's the only reason. I think. Let's keep it moving. Let's ask about his pupper. I want to ask about his dog. Kids, he on his beard. Oh. Dog. Dog wins it. So, uh, you oh, got a dog there, Fry Man? Shot to. Mmm, I can't quite remember what he looks like. Oh, oh he's a little <gasps> corgi. Always has a handkerchief around his neck. Oh, so cute! Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting it there. I think I might need a visual to jog my memory. Oh, look at pictures. pictures of dogs. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog, maybe on your phone or something. Brian. Oh, here comes our producer! <laughs> our producer heard us <laughs> talking about dogs. Oh. Kyle, if you wanted to see pictures of Maxwell, you could have just asked. Show me the goods then. Brian pulls out his phone and flips out an entire album of dog pictures. Oh my god. What the fuck? What are you flipping <laughs> out there, bro? Show me the goods! <laughs> Show me the goods! <laughs> I was trying to do it, but I kept grinning and I can't Way do it. Either. too much in you. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. What, what a, good a good boy. boy. <laughs> I look, Should I? <laughs> I look around the room and take in all the kitchen decor, looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brown, and I, I gesture to it. That guy. <coughs> cool fish. Why aren't we looking at the dog? Yeah, what happened to the dog? It's definitely fake. Well, really? Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with plastic coconut. There's no coconuts. Uh, oh, maybe it's in the background. Yeah, it's behind A me. plastic coconut's glued to it. I look over. He's right. We didn't look over. But I almost caught something like that fish once. Oh, bragger. Mine was bigger, though. He's a one-upper. Of course it was. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Oh, really? Yeah, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We went out on the sea for three days. Catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh man, that's some of the best food I ever had. That actually sounds amazing. Well, it was the last day. Everyone had already gone to bed. But I was there watching the stars, had my line out too. Then all of a sudden, it just starts running. Brr, brr. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of my rod rack and start fighting with the damn thing. Brr. I'm just wrestling my rod really hard. <laughs> jerking it back and forth. <laughs> looking up the stars. I'm out there maybe Twisting for it. an hour. Oh. Can't call out to me shipmates. It's a man against nature. Finally, I'm starting to talk around the guy out. Oh, I get up him up to the surface. Finally get sight of it. The biggest marlin I've ever seen. Hemingway esque. <laughs> he did the fisherman in the sea. I don't know, he did a book. I get it onto the <laughs> boat single handedly. I like that you noticed my confusion as soon as my ears perked I was like, what? <laughs> There's some famous book by Hemingway about fish. I think it was Catching the Rye, right? Well, you know what happens Catch next. Catching the Rye? No, it's of mice and men, stupid. What happens next? No, it's Animorphs, book three. <laughs> the Tom thing smacks <laughs> me in the face with its tail. It knocks me out. I wake up the next morning on the deck. The fish is gone. Never felt dumber. Still got away. I think that's another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish. Captain Ahab style. Okay, so it's Moby Dick. No, Hemingway did not write Moby Dick. That's yeah, just a just secondary literary okay, reference. He's just making two references. Yeah. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Oh man, fishing for life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? 
Well, I'm having this next book will urge to be vulnerable to him. I can't tell that I'm terrible at fishing. I'll lean in <clears> close. <throat> Really? 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 No. They're all the same. I know. I'm amazing. I'm amazing is a less braggardly. It's the only one where it, yeah, 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 I'm amazing. I just like the idea of whispering on his ear. He still says he's the best. There's no choice. I'm simply the best out there. Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. You wanna go fishing? Wait, don't answer that. Of course you do. We're going fishing! Huh. Oh no. Oh, uh, I don't know. They, come on, it'll be a blast. I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers. We could just sit back, relax, and reel in some truth. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. I saw it. Up the corner. You corner your damn self, Carl. You got yourself in your own Yeah, dust. yeah, Listen okay. Brian gives me an exuberant high five. <laughs> yes! Maybe we'll see who can catch the most fish so I can get you more in my lawn. Oh. You can try to beat you can try to beat me there, but they don't call me Carl good at catching fish sex bag for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sex bag. I, I, yeah, I forget we named him sex I'm bang. I'm spinning a web of lies that he's, I fear it will one day uncle. Soon's like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. Ah! Uh, yes! Yeah. The, the pun. The They're pun. all puns. I'm really excited. Kiss my bass, Brian. The this is a great opportunity for friendship. I like that one. And also for catching dildos. more fish than Brian. <laughs> did, did, did dildos come out of his head? Eggplant dildos. Eggplants. Yeah. So you gotta kill me with these puns, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mull it over. <laughs> You'll come around to fish related dad jokes in no time. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see that competitive fire in his eyes. This is gonna become a whole thing, isn't it? Once Brian takes it. Wait, breaks, hold on. Did you see the way it panned? Was fucking uh, was Amanda behind him the whole time? As soon as he panned <laughs> off the screen, it showed her. I don't think it was supposed it to was be. It was the way it loaded too quickly. It but did. like she popped in just before the background did, no, and it just looked no, like no. she was hiding behind him and never left from earlier. Yeah. Once Brian takes over babysitting, <coughs> Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the tail. The tail. The so, how was your hang with Brian? It was uh, okay. It was magical. Oh, yeah? He seems like a neat dude. Or I think a deep so. nude. Or oh, a, a deep nude? <laughs> Ew. Go to your room. I think so. I don't know. The guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we had it for treasure for a bit, oh. but Daisy was really adamant about not digging it without a permit, so we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she's a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. <laughs> I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Oh? I told him I was an amazing fisherman. <laughs> you hate fishing. I know. I was kind of panicking there. I'm Aww. sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently on a boat on a lake for hours on end with no promise of tangible reward. Your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor deep within your heart. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ! She's dark. Fishing's <laughs> fun. You'll remind yourself as the world darkens around you and you wonder if it was really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection or simply just the abyss. Jesus Christ. Yeah, laugh it up there, man. Are you coming with us? Ah, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's my <laughs> constitutional right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming too. Well, mm. I bet I convinced Brian to bring his dog. Huh. Fine. <laughs> Crap baskets. You're. I'm in. 
All right, there. I'm bushed. <laughs> bushed. I like that word. Go and call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? Bushed. Bushed. You got it, Paps. Don't call me Paps. I'm bushed. All right, From see you, Paps. <laughs> bushed Paps. Thanks, because the only cut. Date good. complete. Whoa. Uh, Look at that close up. There's no rivalry. Whoa, that shit's loud. Oh. S rank. Fuck yeah! Is that for our first Super S -rank? Daddy. Probably. We had an A last time. No, S is higher than A. Everybody knows that. Well, S is higher than A. Oh, That's what man. I'm so who do we want right. to go and see now? Yeah, we gotta make this decision. Um, do we want to double up on another date, or do we want to double back on somebody we haven't done yet? The only two people we haven't done is, is Joseph. Robert, Joseph, and Craig. Well, we technically have done Robert. Wink. Ah, uh, we haven't done him again. <laughs> Uh, do we want to? <gasps> we do we want to make like a library book in return to Robert? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do we want to get ourselves up in his jacket? Do we want to make like a library and check out Robert? Are you fucking serious, Mike? Come on, that's <laughs> right there for the opening. Well, we got a return to Robert too, so he's like, so you came back to. Huh. <laughs> I will do you decimal system style on the couch. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Come do on, you. I really want you to Roger my Hammerstein. All right, focus. Robert, Craig, Joseph, or New, or we can do any of these four guys. No, we could. The Brian date was kind of fun. Yeah, can you handle going back to Brian? Was he throw it right now? No, you want to let's double do up something else. Fine, we'll do a little bit of everybody. Um, we don't have to. Craig doesn't seem like a person we would go after because he's just chilling. He's our buddy. We would know if we wanted to go after him. It would yeah. have laden feelings. So Craig's our bud. So no. Um, we can go talk to Joseph. I say Joseph. Okay. <laughs> Fortin Maple Base, number one youth minute. No, that's fucked. Um, yeah, I don't even... I'm it, trying to figure out how to coach you on a German accent, but I don't know. Scroll back up. Fa. Oh, is that how I do it? It needs fa. Fortin Maple Base, number one youth minister for your years running. Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and all her four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water. <laughs> You're basically starting to turn it, you're going to turn it like Squiz Garden Toki. <laughs> <laughs> well, did man. Should we go ahead with this? Setting sails on the seas, adventure, I love playing guitar and crushing my kids. What? I like playing guitar and hanging out with kids and talking oh, about youth stuff. So here's the thing I just noticed. So we, we've dated this guy, he's got one heart out of three. Yeah, that's what we're trying to... Yeah, yeah. so it's three dates, okay. Yeah, so we're basically just milking this right, right now. Well, going to date so let's go guys. ahead and message him. Always use a coat of wax after a wash. I think we passed that one. Oh, it's just coat of wax. If the police are driving wash. behind you, don't give them probable cause to pull you over. Yeah, just drive like a normal fucking person. Replace all your W's with V's and your V's with W's. Exactly. Fa, <laughs> his family's a little weird, but weird. Joseph seems cool. You're I should up. take him up on his offer to hang out. It's a little weird. V oh, you're doing your normal whatever, fuck it. How do I hang yeah, out with yeah. a beast? Would you like both combined? Uh, I don't go. I don't That's go to church. German. I should. I'd be Jesusy. I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble through sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesusy. A light smattering Jesus. Will he want to pray to me? Um, want me to pray? <laughs> <laughs> Probably is he not, going bro. to pray at me? <laughs> is he going to? Oh, what do I do when he prays at me? Do I have to pray to him? To pray at him? Yeah. Like that's yeah. weird. Like, excuse me. Can I pray in your general direction for a minute? That's weird. To, uh, I'm sorry, Mecca is in your direction. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We, go. Yeah, we're waiting for you to go to the next statements. Do you want to read it all? We've already, yeah. We just uh, talked about Brian rewards him. Talking You're, to Joseph, huh? Where the fuck are we, by the way? I don't know, and I hate when they do the question mark thing, because it's always a character. Yeah! Ah, uh, there we are. See? Manda, how many times have I told you? No, see, I'm bumming all yet. I selectively ignore it every time you do, Paps. Look at that shit face. <laughs> shit you. eating whole face. Fuck you. I've never I'm seen so, eyebrows that high. I'm so proud Have of you. Not seen you rock, smarmy little rock shit. Rock we raised you well. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. Oh, this must be our bedroom. 
but I've never been friends with a priest before. What do I talk about? My favorite Bible passage. I forgot he's a priest. Ice cream. Yeah, that's the whole religious pride thing. At ice cream soldiers, khakis. First of all, he's a youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There's a difference. You're overthinking it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you are not too busy. Isn't that a little too business casual? Fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. Amanda focuses on the keys. Is you. <laughs> there, jeez. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you'd like, I'd love to hang out with you and get to know you. See ya. Whatever. The smile is a nice touch. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What did he say? Um. Click. Yet. Click. Huh, that wasn't so bad. Aka, if you're not doing any things in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bank sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'd be a blast, so let me know, Joseph. Of course. Everybody I am is like it's a fucking letter. He uses a lot of exclamation. He used like, two. One. He used one. Oh, two. Two. That is oh, three. Three. three for a human. I use like 47 all the time, Mike. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about Kyle there. He used a lot of exclamation points. I'm more <gasps> concerned about him signing his name with a tittle. Tilda. <laughs> Tilda. Hey, we put those in all of our we episodes. We do that on our own episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to let it slide. Speaking of which, I noticed you don't do that on the three headed episodes, and that bothers me. I can't remember if it was, I couldn't remember if it was the Dash or a Tilda. I was Tilda. Or it. Always Tilda, because it looks fancy. Sounds like fun, car. Aww. Aww. Oh, I thought he just put car. Wow, he already responded. Wow. <laughs> Great. Come on by the house as soon as you're ready. We speak here. Of course, we well, can't past you with Well, guess how I'm doing this. <laughs> Next time. Save a brownie Aww. for me. Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Next time on Three Minute Let's Play, you better save me a brownie. Amanda stares at me, I'm blinking. We'll she blinks. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real or fault, pops. And Dad, please don't be weird about the religion thing. Me, weird never. Hey, pop. Don't, All right. Don't do anything that good Lord wouldn't do. Oh, that's right. We're on a date with Brian. Ah, he's newly Scottish. Oh God, get my Scottish accent back. Oh, I am done. Oh, top of the morning to you. I'm Jeff Septicai. I'm Irish, but for the purposes of the show, I'm Scottish, and I can't talk fast. You're like David Tennant.